from Digcode in here and this is another video for the Integrating APIs with Django 3.2 playlist. So if you've never visited this channel before then please subscribe, please like and please share the content, it's a massive massive help. And also if you want to su support this channel uh, we've got a Patreon page, the link to that Patreon page is in the description below. All pledges are massively welcome. So in this video, uh, actually in this playlist if you don't already know, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to integrate as many APIs into uh, Django apps as possible just to help you guys out so you as developers can take this code and integrate it into your own projects and it just becomes every, uh, so much easier for everyone. So that's what I'm trying to do in this playlist and in this uh, video itself I'm going to show you how to work with uh, open weather maps. So that API or this API allows you to make a call and retrieve um, data about weather in any given area. I mean, this app is only looking at UK postcodes, but you can use any longitude and latitude and retrieve a uh, forecast for the day, for tomorrow, for the whole week, you can have hourly, every minute. There's so much, there's so many different calls you can make to this API, which I'll show you in a second, but this app is just looking at seven day forecast. So, let's jump into it, look at my screen. So it's opened up on GitHub here. This is a repository. The link to this repository will be in the description below. It's called Did Django Open With A Map? There is a, um, oh, I haven't changed the title there in a readme file. Um, professional as ever on this channel. Um, but essentially it's um, follow the instructions. You need to create a directory, create a virtual environment. You need to clone this repository and then add an API key to your settings.py file and fire it all up and it should then work. So. That's what you need to do. Um, link to Open Weather Map is here. So it's openweathermap.org, and there's all links at the top here. You've got an API. You need to log in. You need to create an account, log in, get an API key, and then you've got all of these different sections here that you can look into. I'm focusing on this one here, one call API. So you make one call and get all of this information. Um, click on API, and it goes through. Their docs are really good, actually. It shows you, gives you some good examples of the URLs that you need to call and the responses you need. So um, click on API and you need a uh, guide here. Yeah, and it just shows you everything on this website, how to work with the API. But I've built an app, so hopefully you can get the gist of it just using what I've built here. So if I open up my incognito screen that I've already got open, I've got a server, a local server running already on my machine. So this is the app, this is what it looks like. And you've got two URLs, you've got home, you've got results. All you need to do is put a UK postcode in here, in this form here, and submit it. It will then add that as a parameter to the URL. It will redirect you to results, make a call to the API, and then display the results there. So let's go um, CB6 to, let's go to NH. Uh, it's a postcode local to where I live. So there we go. So it's just redirected me, and if you can see this here, is redirecting me to results with a query string. So it's a question mark and says query equals CB6 to an H. So we take that, um, we do a request dot get, get um, query from the parameter in the results view, which I'll show you in a second. And it just populates a table here. So sunrise time, oh, um, I've just got the date there. I'll change that because uh, it should. I've, I, I've converted the code into a date time object and I'm just displaying date, but you really need the time. So I will, um, I will change that in a second. Um, in fact, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Let's go main. Um, I think it is in template tags. Uh, we just, there we go. Let's take, let's take out a date. Save. I will change this on the repository as well. Uh, what I tend to do is I build the apps, um, get it up on GitHub, and just uh, film the video all in one hit. So sometimes I get these little hiccups, but it makes, uh, it means I can create content a lot quicker. So there we go, so we made the same call. So now it's a sunrise, um, 7th of May, in this postcode area, it's uh, 17 minutes past five, sunset, 8.34. Uh, the weather description is scattered clouds, and um, that's CB6 to an H, is only about 10 miles from where I currently am. And I can tell you now that that's bang on. Clouds, 44%, yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with that. Humidity, 69%, wind speed, 5.46, and UV index is 3.86. Now the response I get from open weather map is you can get so much more information than what I've displayed here, but hopefully you can get the gist of what I'm trying to do here with the API and you can just build on it in your own app. So that's the app. 
have a play with it, download the repository, have a play with it and make it your own, essentially. But let's jump into the code. I did just open up the template tags, um, which we'll go into in more depth in a second. But what I'll do uh, quickly is I'll open up settings. Okay, so I've opened up settings here. I just removed my API key. Um, and so straight out of the box, um, we haven't changed too much from Django. Uh, but we are importing OS, which we need to. We need to add main into the installed apps because we've got a main app running on this project. Uh, other than that, no different, no database changes. Language is ENGB because I'm in the UK. But I've added these three variables here so we can manage static files. I won't go into any more detail. I've gone over and over this in previous videos. But you need those variables to handle static files because we're using CSS files and logos in a static directory. Uh, the API key, that is what you would get from Open Weather Maps, and you add the API key there, save it, that's all you've got to do. That's it. URLs, conf, again, bringing in static settings and include. We've added the main URL to the URLs pattern, which is there. And we've added this setting here so we can manage statics. I'm not going to keep going over and over the same content, but essentially we need these settings in the project so we can serve up static files and actually look at the URLs in the main. So they're the two changes we've made in the, in the main directory here. And then we've got main. So the views, we've got an index. So actually the URLs, we've got home and results. They're the two URLs that we've got. That's, that's it. And then the views, we've then got the home, which is called index, and that's what's being referred to in the URLs, .py file, and we've got results. We're bringing in some mix-ins, which we'll go through in a second, but we're using those mix-ins to, um, to render correctly to the HTML files. So in the index file, you've either got a get request or a post request. So it defaults to get, which renders the index HTML file. However, if request method is post, so if we're posting the form data, submitting the form data, then we, we get the post, so we get the query keyword from the post itself. And then if there is a query, then we redirect and we create a parameter string and append it to the URL. And we re redirect to the results URL, which is here. This is the view. With results, uh, we are not doing any post requests, it, it's just a get request. So we're doing request.get.get instead of post.get, which we've got in the index. And if there is a query, so if there is actually a query that's being posted through to the URL, then we do something. If not, we redirect back to home. So the results won't display unless you're actually asking it to do something. If there is a query um, string and a parameter, then we, get a, uh, we do a variable here called results and we call it API mixing. We add the query and we get data, which is get data method, which is in the uh, class. And if result, so if there is a result, because in the in the class itself, if it doesn't work, it returns none. So if it's none, then it will just render back to home, so redirect back to home. We create a context dictionary, results, results, query, query, and we render the results HTML. I'll, I'll rattle through that, but there's not much going on, so hopefully you can get what I'm trying to do here where the heavy lifting is being done here in mixing. But we'll look at the template tags quickly. So I've registered did tags, and we're loading that in HTML at the very top, just underneath load static. And all I've got here is a Unix um, a function, and all it's doing is it's converting a Unix daytime into a daytime object so we can use it in Django. Um, and it's returning the um, So it's returning the daytime object so we can get it on the front end uh, and we're registering that filter there. So that's how we're accessing that because what gets re returned back from Open Weather Map is a, a Unix uh, daytime, which is just a string of numbers. Uh, then we are, so that's that, right, mix ins, quickly uh, fire through these. Form errors we don't need. We're importing redirect settings, the URL encode, that we use that for redirect params. Uh, and then we've got requests and JSON. Uh, and that's all we're importing for this. Redirect params, that creates, uh, it uses URL encode and it creates the query string which is appended to the URL when we redirect. And then we've got this, which is the API mixing. And then we'll end the video there. So we've got an init method here and it's creating self.query from the keywords uh, and it's looking for query. And then we've got a get data method. So we're creating the URL, so the full URL here. Oh, actually this is two, come to think of it. So uh, the uh, Open Weather Maps uh, One Call API requires a longitudinal attitude. So we are using a UK postcode. So we're using an API that's api.postcodes.io, 
which is a free API that we have here in the UK that allows us to get the longitude and latitude from any given postcode in the UK. So we're, first of all, we're making a call to that using the query stream, which is a postcode, and providing the response is 200, so it's a, it's a good response, we are then using JSON to um, JSONify the response from the API call into a variable called results. From that, we get the longitude and latitude. We save them as variables there. And we insert them in an F string here. So we've got URL, URL and it's api.openwebmap.org. And this is straight from the website, by the way. I just pulled this straight from an example call. Um, and I'm using latitude, longitude. I'm excluding a lot of the um, responses. So current, minutely, hourly, and alert, I'm excluding because if you get all that through, it's there's so much data you don't know what to do with, and I didn't need it for this um, tutorial. So I'm excluding those, and then at the end here, I've got a app ID equals settings dot API key. So that's the API key that you've got in your settings file that comes from Open Weather Map. So get that in there, get that saved, and it will work. R equals request get URL. So it's 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 making the API call using requests, and if it's okay, so if you're response code or status code of 200, then we just sonify the response and we look at the keyword daily and we return that back to the results view. Okay, so I'll open up the templates quickly so you see what I've done there. So in results, we've got this table here. Okay, so we've got four loops, so four item in results. And there's item.summarize unix, so it's using that template tag to convert that unix uh, code into a daytime. So we've got summarize sunset. Then we're going item.weber.o because that is a list of dictionaries. And then we're looking for the keyword description. So we've got cloud, humidity, wind speed. I've gone so quickly through that. I hope uh, you can always look back on this video and slow it down a little bit. But I didn't want this to be a 30 minute video. So that is the app. I hope this video has been of interest to you. I hope you can use this application. If you can, look at the GitHub repository in the description below. And make, like I say, make it your own. So use this code in your own project. And I wish you all the best with that. So if you want to support this channel and make, uh, so I can make these uh, videos uh, of higher quality and make them a little bit more often, then click the Patreon link in the uh, description below. Please subscribe, please like, and please share the content, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you, bye.